Psalm 82, we have here repeated what you very often find in the prophets and in the law. Defend the weak, the poor, and the fatherless. Maintain the rights of the poor and the oppressed. Rescue the weak and needy. Deliver them out of the hand of the wicked. So for God, our attitude to the marginalized is critically important. He criticizes Israel for this all through the prophets. The law of Moses emphasizes that this is how you must be. And of course, God in that sense doesn't change. He is very interested in our attitude to the weak. Now, when you are in a core group, maybe the core group of a church, where you belong to a well-established family in the church, or economically, you're in the core dominant group in your society. It's very easy to just mix within that core group and to shut your eyes to the fact that in your wider society, spiritually, materially, or whatever, there are so many people who are in these categories. And God is watching your attitude to them because you, spiritually, are like them before God. Now, if you're proud, you won't want to accept that. But if you're humble, you will accept that, who am I? Absolutely, who am I? I shouldn't even be alive. I am just the homeless person who was brought into the fantastic wedding feast at the last minute by grace alone and I shouldn't be here. What can I do for someone else who's marginalised? That parable of the Lord implies that we, all who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb, are the marginalised, are the people living under bushes and in the streets, etc. Spiritually, that's all of us. Once you realise that, then you reflect that in your care for the marginalised, those who are kept on the edge of church in particular. You may say, well, they're there because that's their fault. The poor are poor because it's their fault. Yeah, God said in the law of Moses that if you follow my law, there'll be no poor in the land. But sure, things aren't perfect, either in people's own lives or in the society around them. That is not the issue, even if it's their fault, not their fault. They are still in the position they are in, just as you are before God. And the more you realise your own position before him, the more you will look out to those people.